Hello, I'm Lene Rhodes, owner of Mix Cosmetics, your custom, sociable, eco-friendly brand. And right now, we are not being very sociable. I hope you are doing well. I just received a call from one of my customers telling me about things that she's exploring right now as there's plenty of time to try something new and to learn about things that you've been interested in but haven't taken the time to do yet. So I was really excited to hear from her and find out how she's using her time. And she had a couple of questions. So if that's something, if there's something you want to try if there's something you want to explore right now that you maybe have a question or you come you get to a certain point and you're stumped I would love to hear from you just because we have to be socially distant doesn't mean we can't talk on the phone you can't message me you can't email me I'm still a teacher at heart I still want you to learn and grow through this period of time yesterday I was making bitters I was making um making some sourdough some sourdough recipes and trying some things that I'd been wanting to try and I will continue to do that. So today is my last time in the shop. I am going to be doing two videos so you'll see me twice more here in the shop, but I packed all of my you can hear how echoey it is in here, I bet. I packed all of my ingredients up, I packed my essential oils up and some of my products. So I will be able to ship from home, I will be able to make product at home, and I'll be able to test a few things that I've been wanting to try. And I would be lost if I didn't have this opportunity to make some things and to try new recipes. So I encourage you to do the same. But I also want to talk a little bit about our skin as we are in a time of stress, as we are struggling with what's gonna happen tomorrow, or maybe you have a relative or a friend who is sick, who has contracted COVID-19, and you are struggling along with them. Our bodies are really sensitive machines, not even machines, ecosystems, and anything can throw them off. Not, not sleeping enough, stress, not eating well. There's so much that, that can happen at this point in time. And I want you to come out of this as healthy as you possibly can. So for your skin, continue to take care of it. You have time to wash it, you have time to mask, you have time to moisturize, you have time to do anti-acne treatments, so do it. Make sure to take the time to care for yourself. And here's a great routine to follow. So when you get up in the morning, go ahead and wash your face. I use my silk face wash, but anything gentle and moisturizing is a great way to wash your skin every single morning. The reason is you're gonna sweat through the night, you're gonna detox, that's what sleeping is for, it's to detox your system. So you wanna get rid of all those toxins that your skin has expelled during the night. So wash your face when you get up in the morning and then moisturize. Just use a gentle, deeply hydrating moisturizer because there's never been somebody that you're like, well, they're over moisturized. That's never been a thing. When you look at healthy skin, it's because it's plump, it's firm, it's got a lot of hydration. So you wanna hydrate your skin right now because stress can dry out your skin like crazy. And so go ahead and just use something that is non-comedogenic. So don't use your body lotion. Use something that is specifically formulated for your face and just hydrate. So make sure that you're moisturizing. Now, if you're, and the, oh, sorry. And then in the evening, even if you're not wearing makeup throughout the day, you need to wash your face. And you don't even have to use a cleanser at this point. If you just want to rinse with water or you want to take a toner and cleanse with a cotton ball, but you are of course welcome to wash your face. So wash the grime of the day off, wash the environmental stressors off, 
wash off anything that's kind of gotten in there and is gonna clog your pores as you're pressing down on your pillow at night. So you wanna get rid of the stuff that's on top of your skin that you don't wanna press into your skin overnight as you're sleeping. So wash your face once again in the evening, whether it's rinsing, taking a toner and at a cotton ball or a cotton swab or swipe and wiping that off or washing with a face wash. And it, by a toner, I mean a non-alcoholic, um, something that's going to help and heal your skin, something like a witch hazel that's non-alcohol uh, based, a rose water, a um, aloe vera, or something to that effect. And if you have questions, contact me. I'll help you to find a toner that would work really, really well. And then, once again, moisturize. So morning and evening, wash your face and moisturize your skin. If you are struggling with problem areas, if you have dry, patchy skin, so let's say that when you are stressed, your skin gets dry and patchy and flaky, add a little bit of extra moisture on that area, and sometimes those are actually eczema or psoriasis breakouts. You can do use a steroid cream maybe once or twice a week to calm those down because right now that means your immune system is on overload. It is flaring up. It is angry with you. And honestly, sometimes I do not generally recommend a steroid cream, but if you are getting eczema and psoriasis on your face due to stress right now, then and you can't control the stress, then what you might need to do is put a teeny tiny bit of steroid cream, not more than twice a week, because it does thin your skin out. And then use something that's going to be antibacterial and gentle, something like a Manuka essential oil blended at a 10 to one ratio in something like fractionated coconut oil, not regular coconut oil, not cooking coconut oil, but fractionated coconut oil or jojoba oil. Jojoba oil would be my favorite recommendation for your face. And so put some manuka oil in there and that will help to calm down that reaction. And once again, if you have further questions, really specific questions for me, please contact me and we'll talk through it. And then if you're suffering with acne, I am dealing with it right here. This is this is like my stress acne um, breakout place. And frankly, last week I broke out. And so I actually apply witch hazel. So I wash my face twice a day. I use a witch hazel toner and willow bark, a witch hazel and willow bark blend toner to rinse my face. And then I apply a tea tree oil, um, just a little bit mixed with jojoba oil right here twice a day. And then I still moisturize. I still moisturize even if I'm breaking out. So if you have acne, if you have dry patches, and then as you're moisturizing, the acne, the dry patches, they're gonna leave that little bit of scarring. You know how your skin turns kind of pink or purple as it's healing? You need to help that healing and a moisturizer is going to help that heal faster. It's gonna help it not to scar. So be sure to take care of your skin through this time and I hope that you all make it through safely, that you're all healthy, that you're all strong. And if you have any questions, please contact me. I wanna hear from you and I wanna just chat through whatever's going on with you. So we will talk soon. Once again, I'm Lene Rhodes, owner of Mix Cosmetics, and we'll see you later this week for another video.